welcome back to my channel. This is vlog 8. I know it is not my typical vlogging style, but I just thought that I would go ahead and just talk to you guys about my first semester of grad school and also just add some clips in from Thanksgiving. I wasn't able to actually post a Thanksgiving vlog, so I really hope that you guys can still share the experience with me. It was also my mother's birthday, so watch till the end if you want to see her dance moves because my mom will be getting it. She be getting it on the dance floor, okay? But anyways, um, yeah. Um, your girl finished her first semester of grad school. Y'all like, wait, 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 wait. Look, that is literally how I felt when I finished my final exam. But anyways, my first semester, I'll go ahead and start with the highs and then I will jump to the lows of the semester. So some highs from the semester are um, that I learned a lot about therapy skills, um, clinical therapy skills. If you don't know, I am in school getting my master's in social work um, and I'm hoping to concentrate in clinical social work with a specialization in trauma. So um, what I'm doing right now in my internship is that I am currently placed at a psychiatric hospital where I am working alongside with patients who are mentally ill. I'm doing a lot of assessments. I'm doing a lot of um, individual one-on-one -on -one interactions with patients, um, talking to them, and just helping my supervisor with paperwork and um, just anything else that he would need, literally. Um, it's been a really, really, really great experience. I literally love my internship placement. I would work there if I could. Um, but yeah, it's really great. So that was a high of the semester that I got a good internship placement because not everyone gets what they want. So I'm glad that I got something that I love to do. I love working with the patients there. Um, I find so much joy in being able to help the patients, being able to talk to them, being able to um, give my insight, being able to apply my showman skills, which are um, therapeutical skills or skills that you would use um, during therapy. Um, and it's just been really an adventure for me. I just think that my experiences from my first day to the last day of internship for the semester um, have been great. Just, you know, exponentially growing over, over the days and over the months. And um, I'm just thankful for even having the opportunity to um, be able to talk to patients and even learn from patients and even um, just be able to help them. I think like one of the biggest things for me is being able to meet with the patient and um, them thank me for listening to them and for kind of, um, I guess, guiding them in, in a better thought process or in a better mindset or just helping them in general emotionally or mentally. So it's been a really, really great process for me at the hospital. Another high would be that I made all A's, y'all. I didn't think it was like super possible because at the end of the semester, stuff started getting really, really hard and um, tasking and time consuming. And if you know a little bit about grad school, we do a lot of reading, a lot of writing papers. Um, and I'm not the, not not the best, but I'm not like, my go-to wouldn't be to write a paper. Like I prefer like exams and stuff and just quiz me. But grad school is all about the papers, all about that APA style, all about that, you know, research and citations and quotations and reference page and works cited and whatnot, you know? So um, I had to really adjust to that. Um, but anyways, regardless, God is faithful, y'all. I made all A's and I'm super excited for that. Um, I hope to continue making all A's and, you know, graduate with that, um, with that same motivation and same um, academic excellence. Um, and then another high I would say would be um, just being able to, I guess, meet all the amazing patients and um, learn so much more about myself, so much more about being self-aware. I think my program in general has helped me like learn more about myself and the people around me. And one thing I can say is that my program has helped me to love all people more. Like, not just people I know, and people who are like me, but like all people from all backgrounds, from all places. Like, I have just learned to love better unconditionally. I think that God has um, stretched me in that area of my life. Like, usually, of course, we love people who are, you know, in our circle. We love people who we know. We love people who we can relate to. But God has really shown me, like, man, like, even if someone's at their lowest of lows, like, meet them where they are, you know? Um, just because 
you are where you are doesn't mean that they aren't worth your time. It doesn't mean that they aren't worth your love, your attention, your service, your respect. So it's really taught me to even come down to that level, you know, um, to meet people where they are and to humbly serve others regardless of the situation. So um, it's really taught me a lot about loving everyone and I've really, really grown in that area. I'm a lot more open-minded. I'm less, you know, um, one straightforward, one way, you know, type of person. But um, I'm a lot more of a critical thinker. I'm a lot more of you know, rationalizing a lot of things at times and just kind of um, showing a lot of grace and showing a lot of patience and understanding. So um, I'm thankful for that because God really, really stretched me in those areas. Um, and then I think that probably my last high, like this semester has been pretty awesome and I'm so glad to be done with it. And I have three more semesters left because it is a two year program. But um, let me go ahead and jump into the lows real quick so I don't take up all your time. Um, anyway, so as for the lows, I would say that um, the stretching process was painful, you know. Me hearing different views and me um, listening to other people not think like me was kind of weird. Like, I thought we would, I thought we should all think the same, you know, especially as Christians. I go to, I'm in a Christian program, so you would think like as Christians we all think the same and everyone's the same and, you know, blaza, blaza, blaza. But I learned that, man, like we're all so different and we all have different views, we all have different backgrounds, upbringings, and it's just really interesting. So that kind of stretched me. Um, and in that stretching, it was very painful in terms of God, you know, what do I believe? What don't I believe, God? And what what is there to believe you know like everyone has all these different views everyone has all these different you know perspectives God like show me the true you know direction show me the true meaning of what you're you're trying to you know help us understand as your people so I think that for me I had to have my own little adventure of you know seeking God out and relearning and rebuilding my faith on him and not what others are saying and not what others are um, believing but truly on Christ and Christ alone and that was hard for me that was a very low point in my life um, I didn't want to serve I didn't want to pour into others I didn't want to lead I didn't want to post on Instagram make videos I'm still not really back into making spiritual videos but I hope to be back soon but um, yeah just really just soaking in a lot of knowledge and just um, seeking direction and guidance from God before even trying to like jump back into all of that but um, but yeah so um, that was a low for me in terms of like faith crisis um, not really knowing exactly what I believe anymore but I think that I have since grown in that area and God has really shown me um, himself and above all I've just learned to love all people so I just love that part of the I guess the low Another low would probably just be the transition from, you know, um, living in Huntsville to moving to Waco. I'm three hours away from my family in Houston, so family and friends in Houston, so I have to drive three hours to see them. I think the transition was hard on me because um, I've always just been like an hour and a half away from home for like about, you know, four years of my life in college, you know, but now I'm like three hours away, so it's a little harder for me. A new town, you know, new people. Um, yeah, my boyfriend is, you know, in grad school here in the same town as me, but it's so hard because it's, you know, it's just him and I, of course I can't always like, you know, be bothering him like, hey babe, let's go out, let's go do stuff, you know, so it's kind of hard for me just like, you know, being in a new city, um, having to make new friends and just feeling different, you know, feeling different, um, not really connecting fully with people, but like, I like everyone in my program, you know but not really connecting, you know, or not, I don't know, it's a weird, it's weird how to say it, but I just feel like, I don't know, I can't really put my feelings to words right now, that's a showman skill, um, but anyways, I can't really put my feelings to words at this moment, but um, yeah, while I love my cohort, they're all so sweet, they're all so friendly, but I just feel like, you know, it's different, you know, it's new people, um, and you just have to learn to, um, build deeper relationships with people. I think we all get to this point where you know we just don't <laughs> click with everyone anymore as much as we used to when we were kids where you know you could have like 50 best friends but now you have like five you know so I'm still learning to get more comfortable with people in my program people you know um, everywhere so um, yeah I guess that's kind of like you know another low I'm um, just 
you know, being in my bubble, being in Crystal's bubble and not really wanting to make relationships or build relationships or uh, start new friendships or, you know, engage in new friendships, like, but just sticking to myself, but still being very kind and very, very welcoming to everyone, but still just being in my own little crystal bubble because I don't know, I'm just such an introvert, but then again, I'm extroverted. So like, I think they call it like an ambivert. I don't know if that's even like, you know, clinically supported, but anyways, um, yes, so, um, that was probably the other low for the semester. Uh, another low would be sh more stretching in terms of my relationship. Um, being cl closer to my boyfriend was a little challenging in some areas, um, emotionally and spiritually, um, because we would have to like work things out. You know, like we would have arguments and we'd have to like hash them out, communicate, um, talk about it. You know, and really get to the root of the issues. Of course, fighting um, lust is definitely another thing that you know that has been another. Um, new, I guess a new, stronger factor to our, into our relationship because if you don't know, we were long distance, but yeah, just being able to fight lust and you know, hey, it's time to go home and you know, it's so just really just trying to remain pure in our relationship and make it to the wedding day, okay? The battle with lust, the battle with fighting for purity um, can be really hard at times, but thankfully God has, you know, gotten us through a lot and we've been able to abstain and been able to not you know fall into that you know hole of engaging or feeding the flesh or whatever you want to call it but anyways yeah so that's pretty much the last low on this video um this semester was overall awesome i'm looking forward to another semester um of grad school a lot of you guys have dm'd me and asked me questions about psychology because i got my bs in psychologies psychology and um, social work because I'm currently getting my master's in social work and I would love to do a video about that so if you are amongst the people DMing me or asking me questions or are if you're just curious on this video as you're watching right now um, just let me know in the comment section below if you would like an individual video about like you know social work or psychology or what to do or where to go or whatnot um, I would be more than happy to answer your questions to the best of my ability or to kind of direct you to where you should go to find the best answers so yeah um, that's pretty much it you know I don't have much else to say um this semester was pretty cool and yeah make sure you like this video subscribe and i will see you guys in my next vlog and don't forget to stay tuned for the clips from thanksgiving y'all you don't want to miss it so just stay tuned okay all right all right bye okay. Okay.